Hi, this is Amy from the Alt Store. I want to show you the basics of how to install our battery backup kit. Now, this was designed to do AC coupling, which means that it's going to use your existing grid tied solar system and use the output of your grid tied inverter to, to charge your battery bank. Uh, so, this kit does not include a solar charge controller. Uh, or batteries, so you would buy the batteries separate and you would use your existing solar panels with your grid tied system. So I'm just going to go over the basics of how to install this. It does come with really nice manuals in multiple languages, so I highly, highly, highly recommend that you read the manual. We also include a schematic of how to wire this up, um, so it shows actually moving your grid tied inverter breaker from the main breaker box where it currently is over to your new critical loads breaker box. So you're going to need a 40 amp two pole breaker in the main breaker box for your XW. If you already have that size breaker in there for your, your grid tied inverter, great. You're going to just take a, another one and put the same size in the critical loads panel. But the critical loads panel gets connected to your existing grid tight inverter. So you need that breaker in the critical loads panel and you need a 40 amp breaker in the main breaker box for the XW. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is remove these two screws from the XW. This exposes the AC wiring chamber. Now it's a little tricky to actually open these. I found if I actually stick my fingernails under here and slide up, that works the best. So we'll put that aside and you can see we've got the, the connectors here for our AC wiring. Now the really nice thing with the power distribution panel is it has both the AC and the DC breakers that you need here. So if I pop off this cover, you can see that it's actually partially pre-wired. So it has the, both the inverter in and the inverter out wires already in here and labeled. Really nice. It's got a, a nice uh, connector right on here so that you've got a good solid connection into our connectors here. So this makes it incredibly easy to connect. It also has these DC power bus bars. So you're going to mount the, uh, the inverter according to the directions on the wall first and then you'll slide this right onto it and your, the power bus bars go right up to it and it comes with all of the hardware that you need to actually screw it on there together. So let's, um, let's go through some of that and I'll, I'll walk you through. We're, we're doing it all horizontally but you're going to be doing this uh, vertically up on, on your wall. The first thing that you need to do is you need to knock out one of these, these pre-punched knockout holes. Now um, the, the P mini PDP comes with a couple of these, these nice gaskets. So when we knock this out, this is going to fit in here nicely to add a nice protective um, barrier from the wires going here. So this is where our AC wires are going to go in. You can see that there's three holes here. Um, I like just punching out this one that's by itself. And there's also two different sizes. Um, the, it's the outer ring that you're going to do. So we're just going to knock out this whole thing. All right. Uh, and really the, the way, the best way to do it is with a flat head screwdriver and a hammer. So let's go. So you'll see there's a couple of little tabs where it's actually attached. We're going to, we're going to just put this right up against and give a good solid bang and you can see that it's actually started so I'm just going to go to the other side there we go you do want to make sure that that this is coming out cleanly and you don't have any metal shavings in here uh, that would be bad but uh, you can see it just came out very nice and clear and then this just pops right in so the inverter comes with the bolt and the washers that you need so you do the bolt the lock washer and the flat washer. And they're just going to go right through the, the, the power bar here and into the inverter. So let's see if we can get this right there. 
See how nicely it just lines right up? So we're just going to go right through here and ditto with the positive. So you want to be careful not to cross thread that and uh, you're going to tighten that up nicely with, with a wrench, but we're just leaving it finger tight right now. So now we're just going to feed the AC wires through that hole that we made. And remember, we've got that nice little gasket in there to protect the wires. So we've got line one, line two in, line one, line two out, and a common neutral. So those are all going to go through. And it's really nice because they're all labeled. So we've got our ground cable that's connected to the ground lug that is on the inverter. And now all we need to do is just match up the labels on these connectors with the labels on the wire and plug those in. So let's go through those. So we've got the grid, line, line two is your red, and it says right, it says right there, L2 grid. So line two, grid line one, And we're just going to tighten these up nicely. Then we have load line two. Load neutral. And load L1. And the manual tells you what the, the recommended torque value is to on how, how tightly to torque these. But you want to I want to make sure they're, they're nice and tight. So there we have our, our inverter in and inverter out, line one, line two, and neutral. We've got our, our ground wire connected back here to the lug on the bottom. And we have our DC connected through these bolts here. So this is the, the basics of connecting the inverter. So now we've got the inverter connected to the breaker box. So if we take a closer look at the breaker box here, so um, you're going to get, get some wire locally, and you're going to wire line one and line two. This is the output, and this will go to your critical loads panel. Then we've got line one, line two in. So that's coming from the grid. And that goes to the 40 amp breaker that you've got on your main breaker box. So again, this is grid in, line one, line two, to your main breaker box. And this is line one, line two, inverter out. And that feeds your critical loads breaker box. So then the last piece that we have is the lightning arrestor. Now this is a really um, important piece because this helps protect the inverter from any nearby lightning strikes. It's actually even got, it's a midnight solar lightning arrestor for AC. It's got a visual indication so it'll actually light up when it's working. So it's uh, really good to have. So what we need to do is there's a half inch knockout on the side of the mini PDP panel. And so we're going to knock that out and just slide that right in there. So again, same as earlier. Just give it a good solid whack. And that comes right out. So the lightning arrestor comes with a gasket and, and the nut to connect it. So we're going to put the gasket on first. Just going to feed this through. And then we put the nut on from the inside. So we have our line one, line two, and ground. Um, probably the easiest places to wire them would be to uh, th these lugs here. So we used one to go out to our breaker box, and that leaves us one available uh, for here and then our ground we can either connect down um, to to the ground lug here or if we want to feed it through there is a um, ground connector up here so we're just going to cut these wires the right length and strip them 
and get them in there. All right, so we've got our lightning arrester on here and we've got that wired in nicely, line one, line two, and ground. Now, um, really all that's left to do is connect it to the battery bank. So we've got our, our big uh, cables. I'm just gonna show an example with a, these small cables. The, um, the mini PDP power distribution panel comes with the, the bolts and nuts to connect our four aught cables here. So we're going to connect those. Going to um, do another knockout for, so that we can get our cables up through here. I'm not gonna show knocking it out because it, it, it will probably vary based on where your battery bank physically is and everything. So just know you're gonna knock out either one or two of these and your cable's gonna come through there. And then we've got our positive that's going to connect here and our negative that's going to connect here and these will go down to your 48 volt battery bank. Now really all that's left is uh, the ZAN bus to connect to your system control panel. Uh, that both the control panel and the inverter came with a terminator so you'll see that there are two ZAN bus connectors here. You're going to throw the terminator in one of them. Use the included cable that, that um, is, came with your system control panel. So you see there's a trough here that your, your ZAN bus cable goes in. And there's several different knockouts. There's a couple of knockouts on the bottom. So you can have another knockout to have your system control panel come out. And you connect that side to ZAN bus there. And you're gonna come out through a knockout. And you're just going to connect to your, your ZAN bus. Now, if you've got multiple um, Schneider equipment that's communicating through the ZAN bus, all you're going to do is daisy chain. So your next one would come out and go to the next equipment, next equipment, next equipment. And then wherever your last one is, you're going to put another terminator in here. So that will, that will end the circuit. So you've got a, a network terminator on both sides. So both the system control panel and the inverter came with terminators. So again, you've got one terminated. And then where the end of your network is, if this is the only other equipment, you put a terminator in there. If you've got other things like the battery monitor or the comm box or, or any other uh, Schneider ZAN bus equipment, you daisy chain, put that in the back. So there is your system control panel. So we're going to do another video that shows a little more details of uh, configuring the system and um, an example of the uh, critical loads panel. Alrighty, this was Amy from the Alti store. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out more of our videos and go to our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.